Hey everybody, what's going on? Hello, how are you doing? <sighs> how was your day? Got through it. I don't know, it was kind of a blue, for me it was kind of a blue and lonely day at work. I don't know why. I just felt left out, like, just felt left out or something. I don't know, it was a weird feeling all day, but it was kind of lonely and whatever. At lunch, I went out and I went to Dollar Tree and did some other things, but I thought that we would do a couple of things on this video tonight. First, of course, if you are following along in this movie marathon advent countdown to Christmas, let's see what tonight's movie is. Now, where are my reading glasses? I can't believe I forgot them. I don't have a Timu haul tonight. I do have a tiny Dollar Tree haul, but those aren't very exciting. Ooh. Okay, movie marathon. Let's see what tonight's movie is. At least when I do them, they're not very exciting. When other people do them, other people find all kinds of exciting things. Me, not so much. Okay, we've got six days to go until Christmas. I'm done being shocked. I'm just kind of resigned that we're sliding down a slope toward Christmas really fast and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm running out of time to do a bunch of stuff. The movie tonight is Fred Claus and Fred Claus, Santa's bitter older brother, is forced to move to the North Pole to help Santa and the elves prepare for Christmas in exchange for cash. <laughs> if you're wondering why it takes me so long to read that, it's, be it's because it's this small. But if I put it way up here, it's probably easier for me to read. Anyway, my nails are still on and I'm amazed. So I went to Dollar Tree to get some more of the nail Dollar Tree nail polish glue, which I will show you in a minute. And whoa, when I went there, it was already almost gone. Now, the first time I went there, there were three whole rows of it on the, the in the aisle, like just rows and rows and rows of this glue. Oh my gosh, it was almost all gone when I got there today. And that was just two days ago. So that's crazy. Okay, what I'd like to do is, you. some of you remember, and if you're new to my channel, hi, thank you for being new to my channel. I really appreciate it. And if you are a returning subscriber, first, please check and make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube has been unsubscribing people from my channel. I believe YouTube thinks that I have some bots, so it's just been kicking people off my channel. So please check and make sure you're subscribed. And thank you so much for coming back. It means so much to me. I really appreciate it. If you are returning, you might remember that I reviewed some time ago this Teddy Blake beautiful Teddy Blake bag. Well, I'll talk about this in a minute, but the beautiful Teddy Blake bag that I am using the heck out of this uh, during the past, whoops, during the past few months. It's a big, gorgeous leather um, crocodile print bag. It does snap here if I want it to, which I don't. I need it to expand right now. The, but if I did want it to, but if it wasn't so crammed with stuff, I would definitely snap those closed. And it does have a strap that I use as well as two handles. And it is holding up beautifully. The bottom is not scuffed up or gross or anything like that. And I've been using this everywhere and it's still in good shape. It's a little bit distorted because I've got so much stuff in it that it's crammed to the gills and I needed to clean it out tonight. So I thought as long as I'm going to clean it out, let's do a what's in my Teddy Blake bag. And Teddy Blake is having a great Christmas sale going on right now. And I believe it's going on through January 2nd. So I know a lot of you talked about 
how beautiful the bags were and how they were out of your price range. Well, now they might just be in your price range because of the sale. So please click the link in my description and check out, um, click the Christmas sale category and check out the awesome bags that are on sale and buy yourself one for Christmas. Okay, the first thing I did was put a little Santa Claus charm on a bag in December, a little blingy, blangin' Santa charm. So he hangs off this D-ring right here, and that's that. So let us see what is in this bag. Now, there is a bag full of Dollar Tree stuff in here, which we will get through. The first thing, though, that I want to get out of here is I have been running around with a smaller, little, no-name, cheapy $11 purse that we got off that other website. Um, it's not a designer name. It's not any kind of name. It's just a little graffiti purse, and it does match the bag, though, but I want to look in here and see if my phone is in here. And what's in the little purse? I mean, should we just get all like meta with dimensions within dimensions within dimensions in the little purse? I've got my wallet. Well, my card carrier. It's one of those R D I F. Is that right? I don't know. It's that kind of uh, credit card carrier that people can't scan through and steal your credit card numbers. I don't know if that's correct or not. I've got the Candy Bella um, oil blotting powder. Uh, not, well, it's not powder. It's like a gel. And in fact, I need to put a little dot of that. I like to use my fingers. I don't like to use the puff on my nose. Man, I love this stuff. And I need to blot chin. My whole T-zone just needs a little help right now. Okay, there. Look at that. I'm a little tired. Sorry, I look like it. Okay, so Candy Bella's in there. There's a $10 bill in here. You never know when you're going to need 10 bucks. It's just floating around in there. There's the Dollar Tree nail glue, brush-on nail glue, Candy Moyo, Moyo, and it did get glued to my uh, David Archie pajamas last night, which is why it's got all this fuzz all over it. And then there's a little pill case that says sexy and sedated. I believe I got that off Timu. Is it? Is there anything in it? Empty. Darn it. But sometimes, you know, I put my little happy pills in there. And then there is... My concealer of choice, which is um, Physician's Formula Better. I can't read that. Butter is what it should say. Physician's Formula Butter Glow Concealer, which is a nice concealer. But, and I meant to actually take that out though. I don't use a lot of it. I just use some drops right here and right here where you can see that I look very tired and right here and right here. And I should do that now, but I don't feel like it. But I threw in also that tiny one that came in the that pop feel tiny concealer that came in that advent calendar. So I got two concealers in there. I got that multi pen tool that actually was Crafty Glamper 77 who hauled this thing. Um, the six-in-one multi-tool pen, that's in there. And yeah, I put this stupid little, I haven't taken it out of its little thing yet, but Sephora mirror in my purse because it's small. And I put this little tiny pop feel comb in my purse because it's small. And then I think we're almost done. I've got an eyebrow pencil and... And I, this is It Cosmetics Brow Pencil, which, yeah, I really should have at least done my brows before I came on camera. Draw some brows. Am I even recording for a minute? I thought I wasn't recording. Draw some little 
just try to make it look like there's something there. I don't have any eyebrows at all. Okay, there's that. And then I have this LA Color Auto Eyeliner in Brown that I got from Dollar Tree some time ago. And then I've got that glitter lipstick that is really pretty sheer and it's a pink color, but it doesn't really do anything. Like, at all. <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is. It is what it is. And then I've got that Dollar Tree color changing lip balm in here as well. And I think that's all. What is this little thing floating around? This is the top to a nasal spray. But the nasal spray itself is not in here. So that's weird. Okay, that's what's in my little bag within a bag. So we got that in my um, Teddy Blake bag. What did it, what did you guys do today? Anybody do anything exciting besides like I worked and it wasn't you know, that exciting. You know, it was just work. I worked. I got stuff done. I got one thing done, kind of. What I really hope is in this Teddy Blake bag is my phone. So let's see what else is in here. There are some allergy pills, Benadryl. Okay, let's get this out of here. There's a bag of Dollar Tree stuff. What did I get at Dollar Tree? Please, is my phone in here? I'm starting to freak out. Oh, the, here's my phone and my phone. Oh, thankfully, there it is. Okay, I was tripping out a little bit. Okay, let's see what I got at Dollar Tree today. And all of this fit in my Teddy Blake bag. And yeah, I got another one of these little long wine bags. Let it snow with a cute snowman on it and a little scarf. This is 3D. It's kind of cute with let it snow. And I got, um, oh, there's like a cat hair in my nose. Then I got a Santa Claus gift bag. Ho, ho, ho. And then I got a couple of, this is a set of two paper gift bags that say nice until proven naughty. Do they both say the same thing? Yeah, I just needed to, I need to wrap some stuff and like slippers and stuff like that and put them under the tree. Okay, what else did I get for friend mail? I got um, a couple of yin yang nail buffers, one side you file with and one side you buff with. I thought those were cute. And for friend mail, I also got a couple of these lip scrubber sets that you exfoliate your lips with then from then for me I went to the aisle with the nail glue and I bought one two three now I didn't take it all even though I wanted to four this feels like texture and bounce all over again Five. I got five more things of nail glue. And no, I'm not going to open them all at one time. No, they're not going to dry out. Somebody said they dry out fast. Well, that's if you open them. I'm not going to open mine. Okay, so yay, we're, we're set. for. And yeah, I left a few. I didn't take them all. That's bad luck and greedy and mean. I got LA Colors Blue Eye Marker. Because I still want to try to do something in blue with my eyes. I just don't know what yet. And then I got Wet n Wild. Um, I like their coal eyeliner and I got it in brown. Is it Sienna Brown? I can't read that. Sim Sima Brown Now. <laughs> Is that what it says? Simma Brown now. That's not what it says. Come on, really? Yeah, that is what it says. All right, that's funny. Uh, it's 
it's still a good eyeliner. It's very big, but that's fine. Okay, so I got that. Got that. I got another. They had NYX there, but they just had... Oh, no. It's been opened. Somebody tested it. That's gross. Maybe not. Maybe it just came undone in my thing. I don't know. But they had this one NYX jumbo blue eye pencil there. Does it look like it's been used? I can't tell. I hope not. I didn't notice that when I bought it. Of course I didn't. And then I got this sparkly lip gloss that has glitter in it. I don't know what my deal is these days with buying stuff with glitter in it. I just feel like shimmering because it's the holidays. But I want to see what that looks like on LA Colors lip gloss, glossy finish, cruelty free, vitamin E enriched. Let's see if I can get this open. Oh, where are my scissors? I don't even have anything because this isn't a haul, like a haul full of things I have to open. So I don't even have any of my usual tools with me. Okay, things are sliding. Things are sliding. Um, Yeah, I'm feeling really hormonal today, you guys. I feel like curling up in a little ball and having a good cry. I think I'm going to watch a movie, one of those good weepy movies, and just maybe cry it out like that. I don't even know why. Like, if you, I can't even put words to it. I'm just feeling kind of highly emotional today. It's probably just the stress of the holidays, sort of. Like, you try and try not to let the stress, you try to get ahead of the stress of the holidays, but somehow I can never get completely ahead of it. I just had so much more that I wanted to do. I had a bunch of packages I wanted to send that I don't think are going to get sent. They're going to turn out to be New Year's packages. Okay, let's try this. Whoa. Okay. It tastes like strawberry and it's really gritty. It's fine. It's whatever. Okay, so that was my Dollar Tree, my little Dollar Tree haul. Mainly, I just got a ton of lip, um, no, nail glue and put that there, which I'm going to need in a minute for this thumb. And a couple of gift bags and some stuff to throw in, some little boxes and some stuff for my eyes. I'm still a little shook that this NYX thing is open, but NYX or however you pronounce it. Okay, so that all fit in my Teddy Blake bag. Put everything back in the bag for right now because I don't know where I'm going to put this stuff. Like, I don't know where I'm going to put five things of nail glue. But right now, they're all going back in the bag. Okay, so that was in there. This is a really enchanting, entrancing video. You know what else is in my Teddy Blake bag? Let me put it up here. This wig. <laughs> this hair piece. Now, I took this to my stuff. Stylist. And I told her I wanted my low lights this color. I don't see anything close to that color at all. No, nothing. But, and you know what I'm going to do next time I get highlights and low lights? I'm going to tell her to make them big and chunky so people can see them. I don't want subtle changes. Like, yes, I can see the little streaks of blonde all through here and stuff. But to me, that's get that just looks like, it looks like gray hair, actually. I don't know. It does have a coppery kind of undertone to it that I like, but I really wanted it to pop like this much more like this. But anyway, this was in my Teddy Blake bag. <laughs> Because I had taken it to the salon. I had thrown it in there to take the to the salon. So there's that. Okay, let's hold it up again. 
just so everybody can see what else is in here. Okay, my cheap Timu sunglasses that I've been running around in. What do these look like on? I don't even know. My other sunglasses broke. Yeah, I've just been running around in these. Oh, I need some kind of a thumbnail. Hold up Teddy Blake. Cheese. Cheese. What's in my Teddy Blake bag? I don't know. Don't forget there are two zippered compartments here. Okay, I've got, this is the hand cream that I love that I need to use more of. It's the Walgreens version of compared to, um, oh, I need these again. Take them on, take them off, put them on, take them on, put them off. Compared to, um, Gold Bond Ultimate Healing Hand Cream. It's got the same vitamins B, C, and E and seven deep moisturizers. And it's my favorite hand lotion. As you can see, it's almost completely gone. So I buy the Walgreens dupe. Or actually, I couldn't find the Walgreens. The Walgreens dupe was sold out last time. So I did buy the name brand. And that is in my purse. And then there is... Another thing of hand cream, which I think I got in my last Fab Fit Fun box. We had two hand creams in there. Okay. We've got a receipt for Germantown Animal. Oh, that's where I live. Germantown. It's called Germantown. I just said it out loud. Animal Hospital for 76 bucks for Luna's vet visit. Like, I don't even care anymore because Alexa has doxxed it so many times. I don't even care. I have um, a letter from the IRS that just says that I had paid off some uh, taxes. I have this tracking, UPS tracking, that I no longer need because my brother has gotten his Christmas presents. So, that was for... From mailing my brother's Christmas presents. I've got ear pods in here. I've got a Christmas pen. Oh, Christmas pen. You never know when you're going to need one. Okay, I've got a dental flosser. Strawberry flavor dental floss pick. Gosh, what a mess. I've got some backup... Christmas nails, which have nothing to do with these, and there are more in this box, but those were from when I was wearing the other ones. I got at the Dollar Tree um, two pair, two pair, a pair, a set of two rolls of scotch tape for wrapping gifts. Then I have these fingernails in case I lose one of these. Okay, so I'm set with the fingernails. Then I have... We got um, a thank you for your hard work. Here is a $50 gift, certificate, gift card to your local grocery store. So, it's Kroger. I might as well. I mean, I just, I got that scrunchie in here that I got in my advent calendar. Here's the nasal spray that the top two was in my purse. Okay, good. I've been looking all over for that. I need that. What else is in here? A check from a health insurance company that I mobile deposited. So I can rip that up now and throw it away. Because that has gone through. I've got a band-aid in here. This is fascinating. I've got another tracking number from when I mailed those baby Grinches. I've got both the tracking numbers for those. Yes. And I believe both those people have gotten their baby Grinches. I hope so. Shoot, should I keep it just in case? If you've gotten, if you if you want a baby Grinch and you got it, let me know. I think, I think everybody's got their stuff. I hope so. There is 
Now my fingernail's about to come off. There is one of these things for flyaway. I got this at Dollar Tree. It's um, finishing hair cream with brush. It's for flyaway hair. Here, can I put this down with it? Yeah. I forgot I had this in. Oh, it smells really strong. I forgot I had this in here. Okay, so that's in my Teddy Blake bag. And then we're almost done. That palette that I got in the FabFitFun Advent Calendar, that Laura Geller, Laura Geller All Face palette is in my Teddy Blake bag. So I can do my makeup, touch it up anywhere I go. And then there is another pair of reading glasses in my... They, they're not even in a case. They're just thrown in here. And then that's it. The last thing that's in here... Oh, wait. So in the, in the zippered compartments... So you don't forget, you can unzip these. And in this one is an eyeliner that has seen better days. I got it from Timu and some mascara that I got mascara all over by Stilla and it's called uh, Huge. I think it's just called Huge. I don't know, but it's my favorite mascara and I don't care how much it costs. I will always buy it. Well, I mean, if it caught, if it, the price ever went up to like a hundred bucks or something, then I mean, no, I wouldn't buy it, but you know what I mean? Oh, okay. There's a bottle of doctor prescribed nerve pills. Good to have a stash of in your Teddy blank bag. <laughs> then there is that, I got it at Dollar Tree, that nasal inhaler, pink Himalayan salts. That I, yeah, I like this stuff, but it's like smelling salts. <sighs> I mean, it doesn't unclog my nose, but it, you know, it may, if I would have fainted, it would wake me up. So I got those in there and then I got a, a little hairbrush in there. So good, because I need to brush my hair right now. Okay, that's what's in my Teddy. Now there's one last thing in my Teddy Blake bag that I am excited to open, and it is a necklace from HRH Collection. I'm not going to turn it around because my address is on it, but I ordered, I, so there's the YouTube channel HRH Collection. I noticed how I said I was going to clean this out, but really I'm just putting all this stuff back in here. Because it's all essential things. You never know when you're going to need a band-aid. Except I'm going to put that in the zippered pouch. You never know when you're going to need a dental flosser. I'm going to put that in the zippered pouch. I am going to probably leave one of these hand creams in my desk at work. I definitely need these allergy pills for the office. I do not need this letter from the IRS. So I need it for my files. And I don't need this vet receipt. Can I make that trash bag? No, I didn't even come close. I do need this gift certificate to the grocery store. And yeah, I need to file that IRS letter. Okay, put that stuff back. Oh, do we need to touch it up now or can we make it? Put my sunglasses back in there. Okay, it looks so much better now that I don't have everything crammed in it. But see how much it can hold? It's fabulous. Look how beautiful it's held up. It's not scratched. It's not scuffed. I have been running around with it for about a month and a half. And it's fantastic. I don't put... Um, I'll leave the tape out. I gotta put the ear pods back in. But I... Yeah, I really love this bag a lot, and I'm grateful to Teddy Blake for letting me represent their brand.
And now we want to open this HRH collection is the YouTube channel, but she also makes and sells jewelry. And I really love the things she makes. I think she's got a really unique sense of style and oh, what am I wearing? You guys, I, I don't even remember ordering this, but I'm assuming I got it off Timu but it is a polyester, of course, green and red candy cane tunic that I'm wearing over black leggings. And then I'm wearing them with these Christmas tree earrings. And yeah, that's me looking festive today. And I'm probably going to wear these same leggings again tomorrow since nobody pays any attention to me anyway with that... Um, um, that sky blue duster thing and my snow globe earrings. Okay, the necklace that I ordered from HRH Collection, which here she is. <laughs> She's funny. Is, um, this gold. It's got a pop top of a, I don't remember how much I paid for it. Is there a receipt in here? No. I don't know how much I paid for it. I paid a hundred and I don't know what. She no, she was having a sale, which is why I bought it. So it's on a chain. Oh my gosh, I got the smallest chain. This is not gonna fit around my neck. I'm gonna have to get an extender. It's a small. I could have sworn I got a big long chain. It's just a pop top. Here comes the wrecking ball gold pop top on a cool gold chain but death <laughs> i definitely need an extender hi loki i think i mean or is it gonna choke it's gonna look like i have a pop top sticking out of my neck what do you think loki i think i can't even get it fastened it might be okay, actually. Hold on a minute. How are you doing, Loki? You going to say hi to the people? Hi, Loki. Did you eat some delicious food and drink some nutritious water? Okay, here it is on my neck. It's all right. It's a little bit right up there, though. Right up there. So, okay, yeah. It's cool. It brings me joy. It brings me a spark of joy and I like it. All right. So I got that necklace. I got that. So that was in my Teddy Blake bag. All right. So don't forget to click the link below and check out the Teddy Blake Christmas sale. And it's a great place to get a purse for that picky person in your life. <laughs> like my mom. Or, you know, it's a great place to get a beautiful bag like this, a big bag that you can run around in, a timeless piece that is never going to go out of style and is always going to be a classic and will go with just about any... Red is a great kind of color that will go with just about anything. Red is a great neutral. But really, though, it goes with everything. So that's my pitch. And I do believe that if you use that link and decide to order a bag, yes, I think I get a commission off of it. So I am, yes, financially invested in that part of the video. But that aside, I really love this bag a lot. And I'm glad they gave it to me to review. And I'm proud to represent their brand. So yay, there's that. All right, now let's do advent calendars. Let's start with the rock of the day. The rock of the day is, what is this day? The 19th? Okay. I need to get my scissors and poke it open with this. I need some Sudafed in a desperate way. Oh no, we didn't see any Sudafed in either of those bags. 
Oh, that means I left it in my desk at work. I try to go... Well, we have nasal spray. We have nasal spray collectively. We just saw it. So I could use that, but I'm not going to use that on camera. That's gross. Okay, this is Jasper Agate. I'm kidding. It's raw amethyst. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's amethyst. But who knows? It could be Jasper Agate. It could be purple. It could be just called purple. It's got a cool milky kind of bottom to it and it's beautiful 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 all right i'm going to put it in my bowl of good vibe rocks and that was today for the rocks okay put those over here all right next we like to do pop feel but it looks like right now we're just gonna do Wait a minute. Let me get all of these in some kind of order. I had them stacked wrong. All right. Pop feel. We like pop feel. Holiday. Wow. Cute little boxes. And we're almost done. There are only 20 days left. So we just have 19. Wait. Today's the 19th, right? Why, why do I have such a problem remembering what the date is? I'm going to have to ask. Alexa, what's the date? It's Tuesday, December 19th. Thank you. I'm going to have to ask one more question. Alexa, where's Santa? Alexa, where's Santa? Santa is at the North Pole. Okay. There are five days left until he makes his journey around the world. Want to hear a Christmas joke? Sure. How does a sheep say Merry Christmas? How? Fleece Nobby Dodd. Mm. Want another Christmas joke? No, thank you. I know lots of facts about Santa. Want to hear one? Yes. Santa has nine reindeer. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet. Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and Rudolph. They eat oats, hay, and carrots to fuel up for their flight. Would you like to hear another fact? No, thank you. Would you like to call Santa? Okay. A nail file. Which is disappointing. Ho, ho, ho! What perfect timing! Slay Blitzen and I were just about to dance the sleigh bell shimmy. It's a dance we made up to stay limber for our big flight. Dance along if you'd like. That's okay. To get warmed up for the big sleigh ride, clap your hands and hop to the side. Beep, beep. Oh, yeah. When you've got hot cocoa on your brain, just spin like the stripes on a candy cane. Whoa! Mm, Coco! If the holiday season's got you filled with glee, then pose like the star on a Christmas tree! Twinkle, twinkle! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> now we'll be nice and ready to fly. <laughs> Santa Claus is coming to town! Call us back soon! Wow! <laughs> All right. Sorry we took a little Santa break. So I got a nail file in my pop feel. I'm not happy about this. Not happy at all. Pop feel, you can get this on Timu. I don't know if it's still available or not, but tonight was quite the dud. I can't wait to see what's in the Sephora Day 19. The future is mine, apparently. Okay, the future is mine. 19. No, 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 19. Where is 19? I didn't know Santa could get down like that, man. Here is 19. Did I show you guys that Sephora looks like this? And 19 is a tiny, 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 tiny little box that looks like this. And it says on it... 
There's always a little clue. It says nails before anything else. So it's going to be some more nail polish, which I don't really do nail polish. I do press on nails and I do get my nails done the end gel gel nails like I don't like to do regular nail polish because it always chips and comes off and blah 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 so I will give this to a friend who does like nail polish wow it's a beautiful beautiful red though it's a vibrant red did you guys hear the theory that men are more likely to talk to women with red nails than women with clear nails I think it's called the red nail theory or the red nail I don't know it was a TikTok thing I don't have TikTok but I read a news article about it I don't have TikTok but I do read the news all right well that was okay Sephora I mean if I were somebody who painted my nails and stuff I would like that shade of red I don't so I'm going to end up giving that to somebody who does paint their nails surprise Happy New Year! Okay, once again, I'm not going to make everybody sit here while I struggle to get this Advent calendar back in its little sleeve. Okay, the last but of course least is Eelho Skin Care, which is getting worse and worse every time we look at the box. <laughs> the box is getting more and more chewed up. It does go to the 24th. So does Sephora, and we need the 19th, and how do we even find the 19th? Okay, here's the 19th right here, so I can just kind of lift up Well, the whole flap is coming undone. So let me see what the 19th is. I'm trying to stick my neck out more, so it's okay. The 19th from Elo. we never know, but it's always in our... Oh no, the bad luck. We just broke the streak. Oh, it was a three day streak. The nail just came off. What do I do with my life? I can't. My heart is broken. I got to glue it back on. I have to glue it back on. Then we'll look at Eelho. You know what? You know what? I'm going to get Eelho out. Don't look at it. It's still a surprise. And then I'm going to get my nail glue, my Dollar Tree nail glue, which I still stand by, though, because out of all the nail glues, it's kept my nails on longer than anything else I've tried. And yes, I've done all the things. I've buffed it. I put alcohol, swabbed them with alcohol swabs, done all the things you're supposed to do before you glue on nails, but I read that you can do all those things, but if you have an oily, if you are an oily nail bed person, and I am, that's what I've decided. I'm an oily nail bed kind of person that all that stuff will not help, that your nails will just pop off, but this seems to work. Okay, there, we put it back on. Oh, I hate that feeling, that naked feeling suddenly of a nail coming off and suddenly your finger just feels really light, but in a terrible, there's something wrong kind of way. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? Peptide face cream, charming charm. <laughs> Charming charm, and it's even got a molecule on it to look official. And it has six peptides in it. Repair skin. Effectively solve the tired complexion. Increase the elasticity and tightness of the skin. Quickly brighten the skin tone. Provides radiant looking without knowing your age. Shelf life, three years. Okay. Keep away from children. And it's got yeast fermentation, lysate filtrate, cetyl, cetyl alcohol, cyclomethicone. 
um, 20 carbon 6 acetate retinol acetate something with barley <laughs> trailer hose I don't know, you guys. I can't read these things. Sativia? Oh, no. I don't think that's legal. No, hold on a minute. Sat sativa? That can't be right. Aloe? Hyaluronic acid? Ble okay, whatever. There we go, you guys. It's Charming Charm Yellow Peptide Face Cream. This is really fun. Elho is always entertaining to me. Okay, that would be it, you guys. That's all I have to offer you. That's all my entertainment. What's in my Teddy Blake bag? Look at the stuff I bought at Dollar Tree. Look at my new necklace with a little pop top on it. You could get it in gold or you could get it in like a pink. Maybe I should get the pink one. Like if I get... Maybe again, I'll get a longer chain, the longest chain ever. I'll ask her to put it on the longest chain ever, and I'll get it in pink. It doesn't lay flat, though, so it's kind of, that part kind of bugs me a little bit, but it's still kind of cool. I've got earrings that go with it, but they're silver, but they're not from her. They're from Timu, so they're probably green by now. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah. I like quirky, quirky. I like quirky little necklaces like that. Okay. You guys, thank you. If you watch this, look how shiny this thing is. If you watch this, thank you for watching. And if you hit the like button, thank you for liking. And if you subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate all you do to help this channel, especially now that my channel is like being reviewed for some kind of threat of bots or something. I got a weird email today from YouTube saying that they're concerned that my views are invalid views. And that kind of sucks because are they invalid view? Maybe I only have about 20 people watching this, these videos. I don't know. Either way, it was fun while it lasted. I didn't do anything invalid. But I do see those bots in the comments sometimes. Like those Kiss Lux bag bots. And those weird bots that leave those motivational kind of quotes. And those bots that leave those Bitcoin um, comments. So... I mean, I know, yeah, they roam around my comments, but I didn't, like, buy them. I didn't tell them to do that. And But YouTube seems to think that I'm accumulating bots on purpose. But that's unfortunate. But it's all right. I don't care. Whatever. If this channel goes down, it goes down. And it was fun while it lasted. So thank you very much, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow with something. If anything, we'll just do the advent calendars and the movie of the day, and uh, that's all I got. That's all I got. All right, I love and appreciate you guys so much. Oh, I do have a bunch of bracelets on this arm. That's why it's so loud. I put on the silver. I don't mind mixing silver and gold. I put on the one that I think this was either I made it or it was pre-made from Timu. I don't know why they always want to stick an apple on there, though. That bugs me. So I didn't put that there. And it's got a candy cane. It's got whatever this is. I think it's Santa Claus. I, I can't see. It's got a Christmas tree. It's a pretty decent bracelet, you know? I don't know where I got, like, what I paid for it or what, but, yeah, it looks okay. It's got a little round poinsettia bead, and then I've got my beautiful advent color bracelet that I just don't feel like taking off. It has nothing much to do with Christmas, except I got my Gona jewelry, except I got it in my advent calendar, and then I've got... The one I bought from Gona Jewelry myself with my Tangerine Santa on it. And so someone asked why I wear them all on this arm. It's because I'm left-handed and 
when I'm moving my mouse around and stuff. I don't like bracelets to get in the way, so I just wear them all on my right arm. And then I've got my that pearl ring that I love so much, except it's not on my, I'm engaged, leave me alone. It's not on that finger, but it's on this finger. All right, I feel better, you guys. I don't feel so blue anymore. So thank you so much for being here and helping me through that little blue period. And I will talk to you tomorrow. And now we say, how do we stop this thing? Oh, I didn't know my hair looked like hell. How do we stop this thing?